in your B-roll. This B-roll? Hi guys, welcome on my YouTube channel Crochet Pink Pumpkin. Today I show you how to make these cute little bunnies for Easter. You will see it's very, very easy. It's one of the most beginner friendly pattern I ever made. So you will see it's very easy. If you just started crocheting, you will you will have no problem making these bunnies. And tutorial will show you round after round so you can you know follow directly on the video. But if you prefer the written uh, the written pattern you can get a free version on my blog crochetpinkpumpkin.com and as usual if you want to support me and to support my life in general you can get the pdf pattern on etsy on rim blur they are on diff different platform and it, it really helps that you do that he actually give me the possibility to keep making videos so thank you so much if you buy my pdf patterns if you don't it's okay you can find the free version on my blog so now let's get started with the supplies you have a checklist on the written version of my pattern and you have links so you can click directly on the link to purchase the same things that i used uh, for the bunnies so let's get started with the yarn so i used um I was actually very lucky because obi.com sent me some yarn for Easter. So thank you so much, obi, for sending me beautiful yarns. So I use for each bunny, you see, I, I've made a different colors, like I made a yellow one, pink one. So I use tiny yarn like that. The weight category is six super bulky i talk about weight categories which is a uh, super bulky for this yarn because it doesn't matter what brand you are buying you can choose whatever yarn you want but it's important to get the same weight category in terms of proportions you will have the same result if you buy something thinner or thicker you may not have the same result as me so you can get whatever shiny yarn you want but it has to be super bulky so for some of the bunnies i use honey bunny like that or i use uh, baby snuggles right here so you can pick whatever color on their website the links in is in the pattern then for all of the bunnies you will need a white yarn white shiny yarn so i use honey bunny as well and it's to make the inside part of the hairs you see like right here then you will need two hooks a seven millimeter right here and a four millimeter the seven millimeter is for the body and the four millimeter is for the hairs because i wanted i wanted the hairs to look like thinner than the body so i chose a smaller hook then you will need white pompons right here for the for the little tail so cute i bought them at hobby lobby but i know you can buy them at uh, on amazon you can buy, buy them at the dollar tree so it's up to you honestly i purchased 80 pompons and I don't know what I will do with this 80 pompons, but it's okay. He, he only comes in bulk, so I had no choice. And the diameter is one inches for the pompon. Then you will need little ribbon bows like that. So this one I bought them from Amazon. The links in the links are in the pattern. And you see they come. I think it's like. 100 or 300 something in the in the bag and they come in a lot of colors so you can choose the colors that you want for each bunny that you make then you will need a downing needle right here it's to sew the hairs to the body so downing needle it comes in plastic or metal but i always uh, choose the metal ones stitch markers as usual you know every time you do rounds it's very useful to have stitch marker like that you don't get confused so you will need a lap counter this one come from amazon i've been using it for at least a year and a half and i think it's the most efficient 
lab counter that you can buy because you know you can buy the little one that like scrolls but um, sometimes it doesn't work very well so i really like that one and lastly you will need either craft glue so craft bond from helmers to glue the tail and glue the bow but i did buy lately i'm very happy of my purchase i bought a um, a glue gun a hot glue gun and it's honestly very good i think it's I think it's better that, than craft glue because it just sticks better. If you need like to glue stuff <laughs> pretty often, you can get this thing. It's uh, from Amazon as well. And now we are done with the supplies. I will give you some notes before we start the tutorial. The following video is a visual support for the Easter Bunny's crochet pattern. The links are in the description to get the written version of the pattern. Each rounds are indicated with the stitches in English and then in French. If sometimes the video goes too fast, you can slow it down in the YouTube reader settings. The number in parentheses written with the rounds is the number of stitches to have at the end of this specific one. The video will show round after round, but for example, if the rounds are the same for 10 rounds, I will only show the beginning of the first and the end of the last one. Let's get started.
So now you should be ready for Easter. You should be done with your little bunny. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, please leave me a comment. I'm happy to answer all your questions. And don't forget to subscribe. I see you next time. Bye bye.